Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and it is Tuesday, the first Tuesday of the month, so you know what that means if you are regular here. It is time for another Unreal Engine Christmas in uh, January, Feb February it would be. Uh, so the first Tuesday of every month, Unreal Engine gives away a number of different assets. They are yours to keep forever, so long as you buy them, air quotes, before the first Tuesday of the next month. And we are uh, taking a look at one of those assets right now. You see this character is made out of gold coins. Previously he was made out of fire. Uh, this is the character body affects a variety of of uh, Niagara-based effects that you can apply to your characters. Right now, we are seeing buttons. We saw coins earlier. We saw fire. Uh, the list of effects includes bubbles, buttons, chains, coins, crystals, diamonds, fire, flower, glass, glitter, light orbs, pixels, rocks, sticky notes, toilet paper, and finally twigs. So if you need to create um, character-based particle system special effects, that is exactly what this asset is all about. All right, so let's move on. So next up here, we have the Sim Poly Town. This is a low polygon collection. Uh, it's got 150 plus models used to create the environment you see here. Now, one of the things you may notice about this is it is bloomed all to hell. I'll show you how you can actually go about fixing that very simply. I think it's a Unreal Engine 5 to uh, 5.1 thing, uh, but it is easily resolved. So I'll show you when we switch to the night map. But you get an idea of the kind of assets that are included here. Everything you need to create a low polygon style town. Uh, this should mesh with most low polygon kind of artworks. It kind of really reminds me of Richard Scarry's if you grew up of the same era as me. But everything you see here to create a low polygon style town uh, is available. Uh, looks pretty sharp on the whole, I would have to say. Now let's switch over to the night map and I'll show you how to kind of curb some of the Unreal Engine 5.1 bloom because it's especially obvious on the night map. So uh, as you're standing over here, way too much bloom. If you want to get that kind of cut down, all you have to do is go into your um, post process volume here find the exposure tab over here. So you could do it with bloom as well to a certain degree. So you can turn down the intensity of the bloom. But I actually don't find that the bloom is actually the problem. It's something else. And it's caused by this uh, exposure compensation. Just turn that off. So turn that down to zero. And ta-da! Instantly nice looking map. So if you're having some lighting problems, this is the magic secret to fixing them. Uh, another thing that you might find, I'll show you in just a sec, you might get some visual... Um, visual effect problems from 5.1. But again, you can see very nice looking uh, map. Looks good at night as well. Uh, bloom effects can still be a little high. Uh, but another thing that you may find is you're getting weird reflections on surfaces. It's not really showing up too bad right now, but if you do get that, it might be a side effect of Lumen. So go in here uh, to Lumen, and what you might find is global tracing. So this guy can sometimes cause uh, weird reflections on your surface. It's not happening at this point in time, but sometimes you'll get just overly amplified um, reflection results. Flicking that lumen option off and on uh, can often be the change. But the thing is, if you're getting uh, too much, go to the ex exposure compensation. So I'll do one final thing with this pack before we move on, and I'll just show you the overview. So this is all of the assets in this pack uh, in one spot. Again, way too much... Uh, Way too much glare, bloom, whatever going on here. And again, let's fix it. All right. So here you can see all the various different uh, modular bits that go together. So you got the, the uh, fire escapes and landings and such that you can build together to create various different buildings. You got some signs going on here. Uh, you got a lot of props for your environments. You got your street, um, street grids that you can kind of pop all together. Uh, you got signs for, you know, a variety of different businesses, variety of different locations in the town. Uh, you got things like gas pumps and picnic tables and um, trellises and so on. Uh, and then we got a little bit of uh, low polygon trees, etc. And then we've got a variety of different cars that were used in the scene. Uh, so the Sim Poly Town Pack, I actually like this one. It's probably my favorite in this uh, bundle this week, in my opinion. Next up, we have the Ultimate FPX Puzzle Kit. Now, this is actually the linked EXE demo showcasing it in action. Uh, it's easier than trying to explain exactly what it does, and this is for creating uh, puzzles for a first-person shooter style environment. So here you can see, for example, I have this box, I have that door, and I have this wire that runs to the door. This is very hard to figure out. So what I do is I take the box and I put it on here. And then, ta-da, we could go into the next room. So this is kind of how it works. Next up, you've got this laser setup. So basically, see how this laser being hit is causing this door to open up? Well, now what we need to do is refract the laser until we hit the next thing, like so. 
And then that's lit that one up. So now what we're gonna do is take this guy over here and we're gonna reflect, oops, I let it go, didn't I? All right, so I'm gonna grab this guy over here and we're gonna put it in this beam, but obviously we wanna go the other way with it. So let's get it into that right there. And then we've got the next one lit up and so on and so forth. So I could keep going. Basically, we got to get all three of these tagged up and then we can move on to the next level. And, and it's a variety of those kind of environmental puzzles that you might want to use uh, in a first person shooter type setting. So there's uh, quite a few different settings available in this one. But if you're trying to make environmental puzzles for a 3D game, uh, the ultimate FPX puzzle kit could be a good fit for you. Next up, we have the bank building interior and exterior modular. So it is a uh, asset pack, pretty straightforward. If you want to create a bank environment, uh, you've got all of the stuff you need to, uh, well, create a bank. So inside, outside, weirdly enough, I don't remember if there's a vault. Uh, so that seems like one thing that's missing. They do have the uh, bank queues, which I definitely am a huge fan of. So we got some up door environments. We got some offices going on back here, like so. Uh, we've got over here again, some more offices, uh, but I don't think there is, oh, there is a, I think there was a safe there. Nope. No safe either. So I don't know where this bank is actually storing our money. Uh, and as you'll see, it's actually modeled on the outside as well. Like so, and everything is modular. So you can, uh, you know, create a bigger, smaller, build things together. Um, yeah. So that is the bank. We even have an elevator. Let's see if the inside of the elevator is rendered. No, it doesn't look like it. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is a pretty straightforward asset. It's just, it's a bank, inside and outside. Uh, although this bank, oddly enough, does not have a vault. Uh, it does look a bit like a Hitman level. So if you want to create a Hitman bank heist kind of level, could be a useful asset to you. I believe it is a grand total of... Um, 55 uh, models that were used throughout. It actually seems like more when you're looking at it. So that one, pretty straightforward. And for our final asset here, we have the Modular Sci-Fi Village Pack. Uh, it is a village from the future. Uh, I have a feeling something is missing here because in the future, we, uh, <laughs> we don't have floors. Our trees just hover in space. Uh, but you see here, it's sort of... Uh, a stylized what to expect from the future. We seem to have some weird rendering issues going on here. So I don't know if that's a, an Unreal Engine 5.1 thing, but there's definitely uh, an issue with the, uh, the environment. It might be something to do with this ambient cube maps should use angular mip map settings warning. Uh, but as you can see, it, it is a modular kit for creating a sci-fi type environment with some Unreal Engine 5.1 rendering oopses. Um, on honesty, it's not my favorite uh, in terms of quality, um, but I, I am curious what you ultimately think. Let's go take a look at the overview map here of the assets that are available here. So once again, this one is modular, so you can kind of rip out things as you need an individual asset. So all the various different pieces that go together to create this guy are available here. Weird reflections going on once again. So it is a modular kit for creating futuristic environments like this one. Probably, in my humble opinion, the weakest of this month's assets, but I'm curious what you think of this month's selection in general. A quick recap of what we have seen today. You're getting the Character Body Effects Volume 1 pack for uh, Niagara effects on animated characters. Again, a variety of them, coins, buttons, fire, earth, and so on. A definitely neat, a little niche. It'd be a little bit challenging to come up with the use for this one. Uh, now we've got my personal favorite, the Sim Poly Town. Um, again, a low polygon environment, very modular, very capable in terms of what it can do. Uh, I, I, again, probably my favorite of the pack so far, but obviously if you're not into that low poly look, it's not going to be yours. Uh, then next up, we have the Ultimate FPX Puzzle Kit. Again, this one's mostly a collection of, of blueprints for ready-to-use puzzles. You shouldn't have to do any scripting at all. It comes with 39 blueprints uh, for doing a variety of uh, puzzles in your world. They're controlled with simple logic such as and or not once, timer delay, and so on. And again, you shouldn't have to do any uh, programming here. So you could do levels without creating any of your own blueprints literally they're drag and drop into your environment for things like pressure plates and um, mechanical switches and lasers and trip wires and that kind of stuff uh, timers so if you want to add puzzles to your first person environment definitely could be a good pickup i think some of you are definitely going to like that one next up we have the bank building interior modular uh and 
pretty straightforward. It's it's a bank. Uh, it's a bank inside and out, uh, composed of 55 unique meshes, uh, 1 to 2K texture resolutions, a total of 73 textures. I think that's part of what got me. So I don't think the texture resolution is really all that high, and it kind of shows. Uh, so that was the bank building interior modular. And then finally, we end things off with the modular sci-fi village. Um, it's, uh, it's a sci-fi village. It's... Uh, kind of straightforward in what it is, uh, and that is it. So if you want to pick these things up, I'm recording this just before it goes live, so what you're going to see is going to be slightly different, but you just go to the free, free for the month, so you're actually going to see, oh, no, it's updated now. Okay, so great, they're here. Uh, so you got Simp Polytown, uh, Character Body Volume 1, Modular Sci-Fi Village Bank Building, and the Ultimate FPX Kit. Literally just come on in here, add them to your cart, check out, and they are yours to keep forever. Now, the astute among you may have noticed something. There is no permanently free asset here. So we go to permanently free, there's always something added each month into the permanently free collection, as you can see here, and there was none this month. Now, every time that that has happened late in the past, uh, something else has happened later on that month. So uh, do stay tuned if something happens. I will definitely cover it here on the channel, so do be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to know if something is going to happen in the permanently free collection later this month. Like I said, uh, it's happened every other time there was a lack of permanently free, so we'll see if that happens again or if this is the first time we do not get an addition to the permanently free collection but you'll notice permanently free collection is huge so we've got 104 assets in there uh, plus they have a number of other free assets elsewhere so uh that is the february 2023 unreal engine free stuff let me know what you think what your favorites were what your least favorites were and do you like this month's on a whole all right that's it talk to you all later goodbye